One of the world's largest social media platforms is suing Tesla founder Elon Musk for pulling out of a deal to buy it for $44 billion. This is unprecedented. It, really, in the history of Wall Street, and I'd say modern-day corporate, I mean, obviously, you have the richest person in the world and Twitter now locked in a Game of Thrones battle. Musk's lawyer said Twitter made false and misleading statements that only 5% of its accounts are fake spam bots. If the number of human beings is substantially smaller and the number of bots is substantially larger, then the advertising rates cannot be as high as Twitter is able to charge at this point. The problem is that Mr. Musk went into the deal saying the reason why he wanted to do it is he thought Twitter was undervalued. He thought part of that had to do with bots. He had a lot of opportunity to get information about that. And so he has done his due diligence, according to Twitter, and a deal is a deal. Twitter's legal filing alleges Musk wanted out of the signed agreement only after the value of Twitter shares fell and the value of a stake in Tesla declined by more than $100 billion from its November 2021 peak. The complaint accuses Musk of then working against the agreement by putting the deal on hold, pending satisfaction of imaginary conditions, and by repeatedly disparaging Twitter and the deal. On social media, Musk has remained both defiant and irreverent. I think Twitter looks like they have the upper hand uh, because they do have a lot of detail in there about uh, what Mr. Musk knew, the opportunities that he had, what the terms of the contract are. Now, we haven't seen legal papers from Mr. Musk's side yet. He has also first-rate lawyers, top-flight people. Levine believes some legal proceedings will take place in the U.S. state of Delaware, where Twitter is incorporated. But he says it's unlikely the case will go to a full trial. Instead, he anticipates a settlement. When Twitter and Musk brokered the $44 billion deal, they also included a $1 billion breakup fee should either party pull out of the deal. At one end, uh, Mr. Musk walks away and doesn't have to pay anything. And at the other end, he has to pay the four, full $44 billion and he owns Twitter. But there's a lot of numbers in between where uh, Mr. Musk would pay a certain amount of money to then wash his hands of the whole thing. I think this has just been a disaster all around. Investors, Twitter, employees, Tesla. For Musk, it's a black eye. So are there any winners in this? I think the lawyers and maybe Netflix if they pick it up in 2024 when it's over. Musk's actions are also drawing attention from the government. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has broadened its inquiries into whether Musk intended to abandon the deal before disclosing it to both the commission and investors. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.